Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can create procedural imperfection with Octane. Here I have a simple scene with my arcade machine and a couple of lights. First I'm going to create imperfection with Octane, and then I will show you how to combine two different materials using the Dirt node to add imperfection to the edges of your model. Starting from scratch here, let's create a new glossy material. Make it gray and apply it to the model. Let's jump to our node editor here. Let's start with an octane noise. Plug it into the roughness map. Solo this to better see what's going on. Let's add a UV transform and a projection node here. Let's change this to box projection. Jump into the noise and boost the contrast. And let's put some more details by upping the omega and the octaves. Now if we don't want this to be so uniform, we can add a mix node. The amount here is the mask, so let's pipe the noise in texture 1. Let's duplicate it and plug it to texture 2. Finally put the mix to the roughness. Modify the scale of the second noise so we have more variation. Let's solo the mix texture node. So with the amount here, we got the 50% opacity blend. So if I drive it down to zero, then we get the one noise. And if I drive it up to one, we get the larger noise. Now what we can do is duplicate a third noise and add that to the amount. Let's unsolo the mix and solo this. So this is the noise now that's actually the mask that's driving the difference between these two. So in the black areas we'll get one of these noises and in the white areas we'll get the other noise. Let's modify the noise here by decrease the omega. And make it a bit larger here in the transform node. We can also rotate the noise here. Okay, so now that we know how we can add imperfection into our shader, let's create something more complex and use the Dirt node to modify the edges of our model. Now, instead of using a direct noise from Octane, we can actually use an image as a roughness map. Create a new glossy texture, make it gray, apply it to the model, then go to the node editor. Let's grab an image texture node and plug it to the roughness here. Take this texture here or whatever you want, you can download all of them for free. The link is in the description. Solo the text editor, apply a transform and projection node here. Make the projection to box, and try to have something good with the scale here on the transform node. To see more the effect of the map, we can add a gradient here. Let's solo the gradient to see what's going on, and move the values here. Let's add another map. So for this, we will use the add node here. Let's duplicate the setup here, and plug this in here. Now load another map to the image texture here. 
let's go with this one. So with the add node, we're adding the brightest part of this image to the brightest part of this image. This will give us more detail overall. Solo the add node to see that we have something more complex now. Let's duplicate the map here, plug it to the diffuse here and change the scale up a bit. Let's introduce some colors with a gradient here, and we'll remap these values. Solo the gradient here, and we can mess with the gamma to make the map more visible. Now we have our base material, so we want some metal edges. So to do that, we need a composite material. So let's select our material here, right click and convert to submaterial. Now we have a composite material and this has been converted to a submaterial. We also have our old material up here. Let's jump to our material view. We've actually got a composite material as well as the original material. So we can just delete it and apply this to our model. So now when we go back to our node editor, we have more options. Let's go to Material 2 and add material. In order to actually see this, we need to put something in Material 2 mask. So let's bring this out and then type in float. Go to shader. If I put this to zero, we have our base material. And here we have our new material. So let's turn this into a metal material by taking our diffuse to black and let's take the index to eight. Add some roughness by adding a texture. So image texture and choose the image you like. Add a projection node, change the projection to box and change the scale. We can also play with the gamma to make it a bit stronger. Here instead of our float texture, we want to use a dirt node. Let's drop this in here and then solo this. Let's bring up the strength all the way and boost the radius. Right now it looks like the dirt is actually in the crevices versus the edges. So to fix that, we just hit invert normal here. Now the radius is way too big, so let's bring it down. Unsolo this, and now it looks like the two materials are swapped around. To fix that, we can add an invert node here. So now to break these edges a bit, we can hit this radius map here. Texture, come down to generator, octane noise. Add a projection tag, change it to box. Solo the dirt node. Now to make the noise less uniform, we can add a mix texture and use the same method that we used earlier. So let's blend two noises with a mask. Duplicate the first noise, plug it to the texture one and the second noise to texture two. Make the second noise a bit bigger Duplicate the noise once again, plug it to the amount, and make it bigger to have bigger patches. Up the contrast on all noises to better see the shape of the noise.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.